Welcome to the Armenian Museum of America. I'm curator Gary Lynn Sinanian, and I'm here to share some of the objects in the collection uh, with you. The, uh, these are the objects that usually are not on display. We have thousands of objects in the collection, and so as a result, I'm, we're, I want to show some of them. Uh, these are materials related to Aminag Shah Maradian. Shah Maradian was the most prominent singer in the early 20th century among the Armenian community. He was a trained opera singer. He came from the, in, uh, born in 1869 in uh, Daran, uh, Mush in Armenia, and he was known as the Bard of Daran. And he uh, was trained in the Paris Opera. He had, he had met Gomez Asvartabed in, in Echmiadzin when they were both there with the, work in, at, at, uh, with the uh, Catholic host there. Uh, and these are some of the materials. He uh, published many records on, usually with, with Columbia records. And these, this is an example here of one of his records. And we have many of them in the collection. And every Armenian who collected music collected Shamarad, and he was the most important singer. And it was a uh, phenomenal singer. Got to the point where he had his own record company, and he had his begin, uh, began publishing records under his own label, uh, which was a, quite a big deal at the time. But uh, Shah Maradian had was profoundly impact on the Armenian community. Uh, these, for instance, this is an example of Hayastan, the song. And this is the music score as Shah Maradian performed it. And it mentions him right here as performed by Shah Maradian. And an LP of uh, his records, the songs of Gomizas. Shah Maradian and Gomizas worked together often. And uh, actually, they both died in the Saint and Solons of France, uh, coincidentally, after the war. Uh, the reason I brought up Shah Maradi in the first place is because we recently just acquired this record, a recording of Shah Maradi, which was donated by William Maksudian. Uh, like I said, every Armenian collected all Shah Maradi's songs in Armenian, uh, Grung, you name it. But nobody bothered to collect the songs that weren't in Armenian. And this is a recording of Shah Maradian singing music from the uh, opera, the Paris Opera House. He was a member of the Paris Opera, and he's singing Bizet here. And so this is an extremely rare recording because it's Shah Maradian doing non-Armenian music. And we were very grateful for Chris Maksudian to donate this copy to us. It's really a unique piece. Uh, but as I said, Shah Maradian was the most prominent singer. And in fact, when the later singer Yenov Jehogopian began singing, who was a real peasant singer, the music hallist was shocked at the music because they, all they had heard was Shah Maradian singing. And Shah Maradian was a trained opera singer, so he made everything, you know, incredible. But that's not how peasants sing, basically. Very few peasants study with the Paris Opera. Uh, but Maradian was pivotal point in, in Armenian music. The Armenian Museum is here to share our stories, our history, our culture with you, the public. We thank you for joining us. We hope you'll join us again. The museum is open uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 12 to 6. And we hope uh, you consider joining, becoming a member. The particulars for membership are on our website. Uh, thank you for joining us, and we hope you'll join us again. Stay safe.